Next question is from Amana Med Kelly. What's a good way to balance cardio and running with the Maps Anywhere program? Oh, well, it depends on your goals. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm figuring this out for myself right now. Again, this is something I, I constantly have to relearn. But because we're, you know, because our jobs involve sitting all day. So what we do now is we literally sit in front of a mic, stand in front of a camera, or work uh, on the internet, which involves no activity. Yeah. I track my steps and I could honestly, especially now that we're kind of, well, self- we did that in anywhere, right? Doug, that's done in anywhere. Yes. Right? yes. Step, we gave step goals, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We step did. Count. Yeah. So I was, I, that's where I was going. So what I'm figuring out for myself is that, uh, wow, I get no steps every single day. So now I've made my goal to get about eight to 12,000 steps a day. Well, here's what I've noticed when I've done that. Yes. I've increased my need and I've increased my activity. I'm actually getting better results with my resistance training. And the reason why I'm making that 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 argument is because I want sometimes I think people think we mean to say no cardio whatsoever because all cardio reduces muscle gains. That's not true. If it improves your health, uh, it will probably give you a better ability to build muscle. The, the the way that cardio gets in the way is when the cardio becomes so dominant that you're always constantly training endurance, right. in which case you have competing you know strength or endurance, and your body will give you a little bit of each, but not a lot of either one. Yeah, that's one. why I like uh, the activity and monitoring the activity. It's just like, it's something that, yeah, you can throw cardio in there, and it could be a form of cardio, but at the same time, it's it's about the the total amount. So the the, the amount that you're moving th- throughout the day is important. And it's it's making sure that you know you're you're getting all that that en- energy expenditure and you know you're able to like monitor your your fat you're you're able to like you know keep keep it like nice and active get everything all the systems working correctly so it is a, a vital part to it but you know in, in terms of like having intensity uh, the intensity once we ramp that up can kind of take over then uh, that signal of strength that we're trying to promote well there's there's two types of uh, ways that I recommend this, and it would be based off of uh, how how this that where this person falls. So if you're somebody who is who wants to do cardio or is doing cardio because of the uh, relief that it gives you stress wise, and it's a, a great time, you enjoy it. It's very relaxing for you. Um, you your energy goes up when you when you go for a nice run or what like that. Then I mean, program it as accordingly. I mean, if you enjoy doing it and 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 it's therapeutic for you and it gets you moving, and you enjoy doing it, then uh, by all means, do it how you you like. Uh, if you're somebody who's coming to me and say you you want to do cardio because you want to maximize burning body fat, totally different. Uh, and that if you're asking me like that, then I I would handle you the same way I handle all the competitors. So anytime I train a competitor. Obviously, uh, if, if out of all the clients I've ever trained, uh, it's it's the most important where it's, it's dialed as we can be and maximizing fat burn and muscle building. So everything that we do is very methodical, uh, and that includes how do we include cardio. And so if you're being coached by me and you want to maximize body fat loss, I'm not going to like just say, you know, oh, go do 30 minutes a day of cardio, uh, generic like that. What I make all my clients do is, we need to know where your baseline is of movement, like Sal is alluding to with steps. Okay, so you on an average day, you only step six to eight thousand steps. So the way I start to prescribe, you know, cardio or movement, I prescribe movement first. Okay, you're six to eight thousand. Now I want you to get eight to ten thousand steps every single day. Don't let it be less than that. And I inch them up through steps and movement. Now, eventually, if you if you stay consistent with that, like you, I would if someone's been coaching with me for months and months getting ready for a show, is I got them at six or 8,000 steps. Eventually, they're, I've worked them up week over week over week to where they're doing like 20,000 steps in a day. Now, when you're getting 20,000 steps in a day, to do that in walks can get really challenging. To only, to if like if you, especially if you have a sedentary job, you sit down or you're on the computer or you're at home because of this shelter in place, if I told Sal right now, Sal, get 20,000 steps. I'd have to go on like six or seven 30-minute walks or longer. Which would be really tough to do. Yeah. It would be much easier for him to go for an hour run to mm-hmm. get those steps. So that's how I would prescribe to clients is let's just keep increasing the steps until you have a really hard time getting those walks in. And now it's becoming challenging just time-consuming wise. Now I say, okay, go ahead and add a 30-minute run in there to accomplish those steps. So we still follow kind of the step rule. But now I'm allowing you to use, you know, more cardiovascular training to get to it because obviously if you 
walk to, to 10,000 steps, it takes a lot longer if you run to 10,000 steps, mm-hmm. significantly faster if you run it. So that's how I start to introduce the higher intensity cardio is actually through steps. And by doing that, you'll see one, if you're, you're, you're lift, hopefully strength training, you're doing anywhere or one of our programs, you're going to see the the, the benefits from the lifting as you're progressing, you're moving more, so you're going to get see calorie expenditure, so you should see body fat re- reduce. You're not sending a signal to the body that you're primarily doing cardio and it's not beneficial to have muscle on it. You're just walking. So we don't want to, we don't want to start really running until later on. And that's how I recommend someone who's trying to maximize body fat loss. It's, it's different than someone who's doing it for, for health. Perfect advice. And by the way, I keep getting DMs uh, on this. Maps Anywhere, yes, is still half off. Um, we, we still have it half off. The code is white50. So if that's something you're interested in, you don't have to DM me. It's still going on. Just use that code and you'll get the 50% off. 